were going to be doing Chihuahua, Chihuahua marker paintings with Chico's help. We're gonna start with our white piece of paper and Crayola markers, a Sharpie, some water. So do the circle for a head right here and then you can make it pointed for the mouth. So add a little bit of a point, like a triangle, a rounded triangle shape. So you have a circle. And then for the body, you're gonna start with the neck and make a shape down like this and up. So I'll go over these a little bit darker. That. And then the tip, and then you're, the gonna tip you're gonna do a circle. For a nose. For nose. Two, Two big, big eyeballs. eyeballs. We can do a circle, we'll leave these little circles white. It'll be the reflections on the eye. Legs. Legs, legs, legs. And we can do the ground right here. A little half circle right here for the tail. And make those ears nice and big, as big as you can without going over your paper. And we'll also do a flower necklace, like a Hawaiian lei. When you're ready, you can take your Sharpie and outline. Eyeballs, we're going to outline them and color them in with the Sharpie. So I'm gonna outline these white parts. I'm not gonna color in these little circles, but I'm gonna color everything around them. All right, and I'm gonna outline my flowers. I want them to be a little bit darker. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I can draw some flowers in the background too. So I was thinking like flower vines, so. So any pencil marks that are showing on your chihuahua, go ahead and erase them. Take the brown marker and outline our chihuahua. Outline my flowers too. They can really pop out. Do try a little blue mark in the middle of my flowers. And color them pink and red. And before I do that, I'm gonna erase my pencil marks. And I'm gonna add some color also to my lay. I'm gonna make it more kind of a rainbow. So now I'm going to add a little color to my flowers. I'm gonna add just a splash of red in these flowers. Splash of red. For the ground, I can do some grass color. Just a little bit of marker, not a lot. And then maybe some yellow in with the green. I might just add little bits, little splashes of blue to make splashes a really pale blue, blue sky blue. background color. So just add a little bit. And when you're adding our water, I'm just gonna be really careful not to mix the colors. Mix the, mix the color. So everything can blend separately. Okay, now's the fun part. 
So we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna do one part at a time. We gotta rinse our brush every time we paint on a different color. We're gonna need to rinse our brush. Rinse our brush. Rinse our brush. A little rinse bit more brown there. Okay, so let's start with our brown and see. It's this really strong color, so it should go pretty far. It's gonna make the whole surface of the Chihuahua just a little bit brown. As it blends, and try to not get any paint on the whites of the eyes. So see how nicely that's blending, just like almost like watercolor. So I gotta be a little more careful as I go down to the body because I don't wanna mix my flower color in with the body. I wanna make sure to do that separate. Okay, so make sure my brush is nice and clean and I'm gonna very delicately go over these flowers. Blend those colors and try not to let them blend with the brown. You could even let it dry a couple minutes before you do this so they don't, the colors don't mix too much with each other. All right, I might come back to that after it dries a little bit. Getting my brush nice and clean. Nice. I'm gonna see if I can get this blue, blend this background, background. blue color. If you decide you want more blue or more color than you've added, you can let your paper dry and then you can go back and add more color after your paper dries and try it again. So for this, I might want to do that because it's not that, not blending that much for some reason. So only add marker to dry paper. Right. That's pretty good. For some reason that blue just doesn't blend very well. Sometimes you have to get your paper pretty wet to get it to blend. See, look how nicely that green is blending really well. That's great. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do are my flowers in the background. I'm gonna get water on them and let them blend. 